The sport of handball was invented over 400 years ago in Ireland by a man named Seamus McHandball. Um, he apparently asked himself the question, uh, what sport could I invent that would attract the dregs of society, but with just enough cops and firemen in case trouble breaks out? Um, the tools available to Seamus at the time were a ball, a wall, and two hands. Now, handball was actually his third invention using these elements, but the first two games he invented, uh, wall slapping and ball chewing, never really caught on, except among the heavy drinkers. Uh, this is my Tuesday night uh, handball stop, uh, the San Rafael YMCA. Um, it's, uh, YMCA stands, as most of you probably know, a Young Men's Christian Association, but really most of us are old pagan devil worshippers. It was. I could make a shot for our court, Mr. <laughs> How's the, uh, how's the used hubcap business coming, Mary? Oh, really fine. Good. I noticed you looking over the parking lot real good there. I was, you know, <laughs> and I saw some really good ones. <laughs> so I'm going to have to leave handball a little early tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just leave the 30-year-old uh, Hyundai alone. <laughs> okay. Those are some fancy, fancy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, check out these glasses. Can you get close? Back from Bali. He said he'd been back in six weeks. That was six months ago. <laughs> I know. I don't know if it's true or not, but I heard that the racquetball players uh, eat their young and then go out and dance all night at gay discos. I, I mean, I also heard that the, the only dogs they get are poodles and chihuahuas. Yeah, I don't know if it's true or not. Handball players, on the other hand, um, have an extra Y chromosome. Uh, if there's ever a major crime committed in the area, the, the police will usually just set up a checkpoint right outside the handball courts uh, just to cover the odds. Whereas handball players are so virile that they can get a woman pregnant just by calling them on the phone. I know it's happened to me. Although, strangely, and that was after my vasectomy. Although strangely, the kid ended up looking a lot like our tax accountant. <laughs> so there's a sad story there. Dave here is a, used to be a judge. And, um, you know, he, he bought a used penis enlarger over eBay. And um, it shorted out on him. And uh, he, he's never been the same since. He can barely write his name now, actually. Um, nice guy, you know. Oh, the, it's a bummer because it was 220 volts. Uh, if you just talked to me, I, I could have warned him. My father used to tell me every day, never buy a used penis enlarger. Now, the rules of handball are fairly simple. The server must serve the ball in between these two red lines, have the ball hit the front wall, and then land within this service area without exposing himself through an accidental wardrobe malfunction. The receiver must then hit the ball back to the front wall before it bounces twice or immigration comes to deport him. If he is successful in this endeavor, then the onus is transferred back 
to the server who must then perpetuate this pattern or face humiliation and social ostracation. Due to the fact that handball players are aging as a group, some new rules were instituted this year in consideration of that fact. One of those rules states that if a handball player becomes incontinent or incapacitated due to heart attack or stroke, a one-point penalty is assessed. A handball game ends when one player or team achieves a score of 21 points or one of the players receives a call from his wife that the results of his prostate exam have come in. Now, the players here in the diagram uh, need some serious work on their court positioning and handball form, and probably a couple of months uh, at a rehab facility wouldn't hurt either. Now, this court here has an excellent feature that I think is a great idea. It actually labels the front wall, uh, which would be, I know, very helpful for many of the players that I play with. You know, when, when I look at the game from this angle, I sort of wonder to myself, why did I waste half my life doing this? Yeah? I mean, Ralph, we could have been doing this. This is my uh, Thursday night uh, handball stop at Petaluma Valley Athletic Club. Um, fairly mellow group here. Um, I, don't, uh, I don't think a fight has broken out here since the Brining brothers quit handball and uh, joined Al-Qaeda. This is uh, Maneuvering Mike, Ballooning Bob, uh, Bullshit Buck, <laughs> Conniving Ken. Where's Diving Dave? We're taking over that court. There's, He's over the other court. There's Diving Dave. He's world famous. I can't tell you why he's famous, but suffice it to say he's very popular among the women. <laughs> and don't worry, I'm not filming. So it's just, you know, you can just act natural. It's uh, 6.30 in the morning. I'm heading up to uh, Santa Rosa to play in the uh, one-day pointless challenge handball tournament. Um, seems like uh, if you use uh, those three words uh, in the same sentence, it's like a, a triple redundancy. Uh, handball, 6.30 in the morning, and pointless. Um, but uh, here I am. Uh, probably only one thing dumber than that would be to um, uh, film yourself while driving. Now, handball is broken down into four divisions, the open, A, B, and C. Now, if you want to find out the uh, playing ability of any given player, uh, you simply ask him. And then um, uh, whatever answer he gives you, you drop it down one category, and that's his actual ability. Now, handball players always want to be playing against players that they view as good or better than them. So let's say uh, players in the B division always want to be playing against players in the A division, unless it's a tournament, uh, and then they want to play in the C division. Now, of course, the players in the A division don't want to play against the players in the B division, or even against themselves, because they view themselves as open players. And, of course, the open players don't want to play against them, because they view them themselves as better. But there are so few open players that they can't find each other. Therefore, it's amazing any matches get played at all. This is um, Rolling Hills country club, uh, or roiling holes as we like to call it. This is my Sunday stop here. Um, I'm uh, not actually a member here, but um, I've been coming here for so long and sneaking in that um, I have a, an easement on the entryway over there. And um, so they can't legally stop me from coming in, uh, even if they wanted to. Um, it's a great, great spot. I mean, they, they put the silverware away when I come, but that bothers me a little bit. But otherwise, it's a, it's a great club. Thank <laughs> you.